Hello, welcome to Dubai Metro. How may I help you? How to go to Burj Khalifa? Now you are in Emirates Towers Metro Station. From here, you need to take Metro through Red Line, which is going to Expo 2020, then a light at Burj Khalifa Metro Station. Now please proceed to Platform 2. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. He's very smart. He's telling me all the instructions where to go. I'm standing in the future. Oh no, not in the future. In the Museum of the Future in Dubai. This is a landmark devoted to the innovative and futuristic ideas. I have heard that inside there are super advanced technologies that will tell us how the future will look like. So I'm so eager. Let's go and collect the tickets. <laughs> option to reach Museum of Future is Metro Train. Fastest and cheapest option. You can get down to Emirates Tower Station and from there it's just 5 minutes walk to get inside. So right now I am heading towards Museum of the Future. A place where ideas come to life, where innovation isn't just a concept, but a reality shaping the future. Wow, it's so futuristic. Museum of Future was inaugurated on 22nd February 2022. The goal of this museum is to be the first to look to the future rather than the past. It is said that everything in the museum is predicted to be in 2071. In this unique architectured building, there are total seven floors. However, the museum dedicates five of its floor to exhibits based on different themes. The visitor journey begins from the fifth floor and takes guests down floor by floor. Each floor theme is also named as chapter. Fifth floor known as Orbital Space Station where visitors will go through space travel and experience the life in space in the year 2071. Fourth floor known as the Heal Institute where visitors can focus on repairing, restoring and renewing life on Earth. Third floor known as Alvaha where guests can experience different therapies to connect deeply to their senses. Alvaha encourages people to focus on themselves and stay grounded. Second floor known as Tomorrow Today. This floor also reflects the museum's work with its strategic partners as it acts as an incubator and laboratory for global foresight. First floor known as Future Heroes. This space offers children interactive activities. It allows children to design their own avatars as part of the experience. This is lobby area. Here also many interesting things you will encounter. So what is this all about? Well, this one is called algorithmic perfumery and it allows you to make your own perfume based on your personality. It works oh. with a questionnaire and then uh, it works with algorithms and analyzes the answers that you will give on the questionnaire and creates a unique perfume, a new perfume just for you. The information you give, the machine will create perfume, a unique perfume. Yes, that's really interesting. I never uh, experienced yes. this. It's a, a unique, no, no one does it. This is the only company that does it. Great. Wow, this was really interesting. So based on our own personality, we will get a customized perfume. Really unique idea. Wow, it looks so cute. 
enjoying this museum of future and also you don't want to miss my vlogs in the future then please subscribe my channel Chia the Explorer now don't postpone it for the future area without any charges but you need to buy ticket to go to other floors oh sorry i have missed i couldn't get my tickets this time to go to the museum of the future and explore it but next time if i'll get it then i'll definitely show you the whole museum of the future actually we have to do advance booking and there's a huge waiting list but i will try next time and show you the whole museum of the future so if you're planning to visit museum of the future you should book its ticket online at least two months in advance there is this small souvenir shop to take future memories with you is also known as city of gold so don't miss to visit gold souk in bar dubai let me transit you from future dubai to old dubai diara so currently i am in gold souk in bar dubai from here i'll be going to gold souk in diara so uh, souk means market that means currently i'm standing at old market and i'll be going Just a 10 minutes walk 
However, on the way, there are several other markets as well. So let's enter the Dubai's famous gold souk. I told you right, souk means market. So come on with me. Cracky. So after entering the gold souk, this is the first shop in the right hand side. This is the world's heaviest golden ring and it also got a Guinness world record as you can see. Isn't it incredible? Very incredible, very incredible. <laughs> <laughs> This ring's weight is around 64 kilograms, which is 59 kilograms, 21 karat gold, and remaining 5 kilograms precious stones mounted on it. Many Indian tourists prefer to buy gold from Dubai because gold price is bit cheap compared to India. There is only 5% VAT charges and that also you can claim for refund at airport while coming back to India. Isn't it a great deal? like Malabar, Tanish, Kalyan Dwellers and you see these banners, they are of Malabar. So in this whole bowl soup, there are Malabar uh, banners. Over here, there are Indian actors and actresses. So it feels like I'm roaming in the India's gold soup. <laughs> as well nearby from where you can buy herbs, spices and souvenirs. So this is my last day of my Dubai journey and this is my last destination museum of the future. I'm sure you loved my Dubai journey and found it very informative and it will definitely help you when you will travel in Dubai. So I will keep on meeting you in the future with new destination, new information and so much fun. By the time, be safe, take care, bye bye Dubai, see you very soon. Yeah, you are